Hey loves, and welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys so much for joining us tonight on what's for dinner. So tonight's meal will be a very quick and easy meal. I'm gonna get the recipe from this book called The Starch Solution. It has a lot of very uh, vegan friendly options in there. Um, like pretty much the whole book is vegan friendly. Um, but it's also good, healthy, nutritious, flavorful food. Um, if it doesn't have enough flavor, we just add a little bit more. Um, it may not look like something you would try on a normal basis, but I promise you it tastes really good. All right, so tonight we're going to be making, I think it's called black bean soup. Yeah, never heard of it before, um, but we're going to whip this up, add some broccoli on top to give it our, make sure we get our greens in because I want to make sure I keep it as healthy as I can. So we've got some bean soup with some broccoli on top. And yeah, so I hope you guys enjoy. If you decide to make it, let me know. I'll put a picture of the book in somewhere in the video so you guys can see it and then go from there. But let's get cooking. All right, so for tonight's black bean soup, we've got, of course, black beans. These are the stars of the show. Um, I'm gonna use, I think maybe about three cans. We got some salsa. Um, it says fresh salsa, but I went with that jar of salsa. Some veggie broth, a little salt, and I'm trying to think. I think yeah, chili powder. And what else did we end up going? We went got a little oregano, and I'm gonna build those seasons up. And then they also call for chipotle chili powder, but I had chili pepper and a little bit of ground black pepper. And I'm going to get that mixed all up. So I've drained and um, rinsed off the black beans. Even though the cans that I use didn't really have anything in it, I still drain and rinse those off. You're going to take and add almost all of those beans to the blender, except for about a cup of it. Um, of course, me, my one-handed motions, I'm dropping them, wasting beans everywhere, but it's okay. So I'll add the beans all but a cup. And then I'm going to add in the veggie broth. Um, again, the recipe will be in that book, so you can definitely look it up. And I'm going to add in um, the salsa. All this is going to go into the blender. The seasonings will come later when I add it to the pot. I'm going to take and blend this up and get it smooth so that way it looks like a soup. So I take, I think I blend it, we're going to blend this for maybe about uh, a minute or 30 seconds or so. Yeah, probably about 30 seconds. And this is what it will look like when it's all blended up. It looks like blended beans, right? So I'm going to take and transfer this to the pot and get it all put together. I'm going to smash these instead of making them into more soupy beans. I'm just going to smash them up so that way we have some um, substance inside the bean mixture, the bean soup. So we didn't want it all to be soupy, soupy. We still wanted to have some pieces in it, right, to have it some fillers. So this is what it looks like after it's all blended up. Looks yummy. Okay, okay. I know to you guys it probably looks like not yummy. It looks like refried beans, liquidy refried beans, but it really tasted really good. Um, I'm going to take and put the mashed beans inside the pot and mix all that together and then add in my seasonings. Uh, and then I'll turn it up and cook it down just a little bit. Um, you can see how the consistency with the broth, it does give it that soupy type texture. Um, again, I got the oregano. The chili powder, a little salt, a little chipotle, um, chili, chipotle chili pepper, and it didn't want to come out of the bowl, so I had to like force it out of there. Take and blend that up. I think I did add just a little bit more salt because it just didn't have just enough flavor to it, but the salsa does give it a little bit of a kick and it does help. So I'm gonna mix that up, turn it on to like a medium low heat and let it warm up because honestly everything's already cooked you're just trying to warm it up so that way um oh I guess I went medium high that way it can cook the flavors together but while that's boiling I'm going to take and put my broccoli in the microwave 
frozen broccoli for me is always the easiest. Frozen vegetables are easier for me because literally pop them in the microwave. Five minutes later, they are done and good and ready to go. All right. So this is what our mixture is looking like. All cooked up, mixed up, blended together. Soup. Literally soup. But I promise it tastes good. So I'm going to um, flavor my broccoli with a little bit of salt and some nutritional yeast and a little bit of onion powder and black pepper. Um, that's going to give it, oh, sorry, garlic powder, not onion. Give it a little bit of flavor um, on there. And then I've got the soup mixture in our bowls. I decided to top my soup with the broccoli and sprinkle just a little bit more of nutritional yeast on top and then enjoy. So that is the quickness of the black bean soup. I think it took maybe about five minutes total to make. All right, there it is. Thanks love so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you decide to make this and try it out, definitely let me know your thoughts and how it tastes for you. And yeah, be blessed and less stressed guys. Shansi Speaks. Thank you.